following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Oh, what a problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 296, Nasdaq's off 38, S&Ps are off 31, gold contract down $15.80, trading at 1736 an ounce. You get silver down 57 cents, $15.47 an ounce, a light sweet crude up 92 cents, $23.65 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10 there, right now down two ticks, trading 138.05, the 30 off a half a point of 16 ticks, at 178.11 and king dollar. King dollar up by 75 ticks, trading 99.556. The euro is at 109. The yen is out here at 107 and a half, and the British pound is at 125 to one U.S. dollar. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? Good Monday morning. Happy belated Easter. Uh, yeah. And and back to the market action. Back to the market action, man. There's there's no doubt. And uh, market action. Uh, you know, the bottom line is that, yeah, we got it down 32, and I, I know uh, when I was hearing the update, uh, it was down 100 at the open on... Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, did you see that open? I didn't catch it until afterwards. It wasn't, a, it didn't look so crazy when, it, you know, the price was ticking around 27.40 in the S&P, but man, those first two 15-minute bars from as high as 28.19 to 27.17, um, 100 points um, before settling down, and we're towards the lower end, but... Yeah. No, you know, it was interesting. So, picture at 6 o'clock, yeah, I, you know, I set my alarm. I brought it up right before si at 6 o'clock. And at the beginning, folks, it was only down 15, 20. I said, oh, okay, this is cool. <laughs> and so I didn't pay attention to it after that. So yeah, the, right, the first time right. I knew that it was down 100 points was this morning. <laughs> yeah. That being said, by the way, folks, okay, what you have out here, okay, uh, this bottom line you take a look at this, and what you're going to see, you already made a higher, higher, a higher high. Uh, so I suspect all day long here you're going to grind, and uh, we'll see how this uh, shakes out. Um, you know, I'm, when I say higher high, I mean overnight. I mean we we yes. we popped up to that 28.19. Now that 28.19 really is just kind of like where we ended on Friday too. You know what I mean? Uh, yep. So we'll see how this baby uh, does shake out. The um, European market, that's closed for Easter Monday. Uh, let, you know, last night uh, in um, Shanghai, um, in Hong Kong, rather, uh, bottom line is that, uh, you know, they caught a bid last night. So this is going to be kind of interesting uh, watching how this baby shakes out. And what we got on Friday, folks, okay, now this is pretty intense. We got a huge expansion on Friday, on a volume on Friday. So that's saying Thursday, that, but yeah, yeah, that's saying that higher prices. Uh, oh, Thursday, yeah, right, Thursday. So that's saying higher prices are going to continue coming at us. Uh, so this whole thing's going to be pretty wild watching this uh, baby shake out. There's no doubt that uh, we had uh, quite a uh, run up from these lows. Now there's a differential out here which I'm digging inside the NDX today, Tom. Remember we okay. brought this up last week. Okay, even when we went higher, the the, the dead dogs meaning United, American, uh, the Basically lines. all the laggards in that column today, right? We're leading it on the way up. Exactly. And now the dif differential is what you'd like to see out here. You got Tesla up 5% or 30 bucks. Amazon's the big number out here today. Even though Look at Amazon. Yeah. Netflix up, too, yeah. Yeah, Amazon's up 3%, Netflix is up 3 and Activision is up 2.4. Uh, now if we go over to Amazon and take a look at this, Amazon, folks, is in an ABC structure on the way up that actually goes over its high, okay? So this is gonna be wild watching this shake out. Right now, you're only 80 bucks away from its high. <laughs> isn't that crazy? I see no reason why Amazon isn't at all-time highs the way that people are ordering their backlogged. Um, just this morning, I saw a headline that they're not gonna be taking on more online grocery order customers. There's gonna be a waiting list, and some Whole Foods are gonna be beginning to close earlier to make sure that online orders are taken care of, for wow. sure. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. And if you take a look at this chart, man, this is an impressive chart, man. I mean, yeah. you know, Amazon had been going sideways, folks, building cars since August of 2018. So, you know, we're talking about a year and a half of building cars. Um, you know, year over this uh, 2050, that was the first high going all the way back to uh, October of uh, 2018. That's saying, man, another leg is going to be coming up. So this is pretty, uh, pretty wild, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They get, you know, they're, they're well positioned, man, for oh. sure. And their Amazon Web Services is going to continue to do really well. And that's going to come back in a year, year and a half when this is behind us. There's a lot of people who are just going to be very familiar with ordering things from Amazon and ordering things from Walmart um, and stuff like that. For the first time, I was looking around at Instacart. Um, for Publix. I haven't used it yet, okay. but it's something maybe I will use. There's a waiting date, like there's an extended delay of like two days for that delivery, but that company I think worth like $8 billion right now. Really? Um, yes. Instacart, huh? Instacart. Um, so that's the, that's how you get delivery of groceries from Publix in Florida, along with I'm not sure whatever else, probably, um, but that is how Publix is delivered. Wow. Let's go take a look at that hot, uh, copper market. So copper, folks, okay, it caught its first bid last week. And, you know, out here this morning, you get it up eight pennies. Um, that's, that's, a good, that's a good number, man. Uh, so this is going to be intriguing watching this shake out inside the copper market. So copper right now is 233 a pound. The low that was generated out here on the 19th of March was 197. And it looks like it's going to try to basically, you know, get up to somewhere around 249. And we'll see how that shakes out. 249, you, you could say that still that could be a dead cat bounce. But the bottom line is that uh, it's going to be important because uh, the copper market is all about China. There's no two ways about that. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, yeah. And we're going to take a look at the uh, notes and bonds. Now, what happened on Friday, folks, is that, you know, it was very subtle. But bottom line is that you did have the 10-year as well as the 30 go intraday lower with volume. Uh, they end up flat markets out here, and now the battle's on again. Um, you know, right now you get the 10 off uh, three ticks, which is no big deal, and the 30 off a half a point, which uh, in the same context is uh, no big deal either. Sure, so, sure, well, yeah. Some of the about, higher volume, oh, go ahead, sorry. If you could go to Netflix as well, how about, because they're up like 3.2%. Um, I just wanted to see if... Uh, oh, yeah, look at this. this. You get juice behind this, too, man. This is... It's going to the top of the consolidation. So, let's see. So, 3, 383. Oh, look at it. This is cool, man. Oh, this is interesting, man. So, this could end up being an ABC structure on the way up. It's going to need volume, but it's getting it right now. You got 1.7 million. If you get more than 9.3 at the end of the day, it's, it'd be a monster ABC up. Look at this. Your B point would be 383. Your A has 290. You're talking about I mean, this is accelerating. We talked about it last week. It's accelerating the transition people have to make to be remote. You know, you've talked about it too, right? The ability to work from remote, the ability to consume. Maybe maybe you're trimming back your hours. You're going to cut your cable bill. You're going to be at home on the Internet and Netflix and Disney+. Plus. Um, it's going to speed up that whole transition by a lot. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 347. Nasdaq's off 39. S&P's off 35. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have got gold down at 16 bucks. Silver's down 58 cents. And good old King Doll up 19 ticks trading 99.504. Come right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN is launching an open house for our Tiger's Den. For a limited time, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Tiger's Den. Just enter promo code OPEN at checkout and pay nothing for 30 days while you try out your Tiger's Den membership as part of our open house. With market volatility at an all-time high and people all over the world working from home if possible, TFNN is hosting an open house in our Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is an interactive chat room that runs all day where other tigers and tigresses discuss trading ideas with the hosts and members along with charts and current market news as well as live access to the charts the hosts use during their programs join us for the tiger's den open house begin your den membership today by just entering open at checkout and pay nothing while you try things out for 30 days for all the details and to start your den membership today visit the front page of tfnn.com don't miss out on the tfnn tiger's den open house taking place now sign up today Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow down 410. NASDAQ off 60. S&P's off 44. Let's go over to that gold market and take a look at the uh, gold market. You're down 15 bucks right now, folks. Uh, bottom line is that uh, you get a sideways move up here right under the highs that were generated out here on uh, Friday. And uh, you are at 1737. Now, gold, folks, is in an ABC structure up with a price projection of uh, 1847. So this is going to be pretty wild watching this uh, th whole thing shake out. Uh, there's certainly been uh, many bids inside of that uh, gold market. So this is, uh, this is, let's see, is this week three, Tom, that we're in a lockdown now? I guess it's beginning week three, right? Would it be a, it might be, it might be closer to week four. I'm is not it? sure. Okay, okay. We're lost in the quarantine already. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm with you there. It's three or four, um, but... It might be. I'm not sure. It might have been March 17th or so. Okay. Um, I mean, it's already April 13th. We know it was before my birthday on March that's 20th, right. right? That's right. So yeah. that's what I'm, I did. Yeah, I feel like it might be four. No, and that's is. for us in Florida. I know it came probably ahead for some people in Boston. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty wild, man. The, uh, go ahead. I, no, I was just going to, it made me think, you know, I saw there were a couple of headlines this morning I was looking at in terms of, um, China, they had like 51 cases. They all came from one international flight or something from like Russia. that. They're coming yeah. back in. That was pretty intense. I know. Yeah. And then did you see Kashkari saying you could see this, you know, rolling out for 18 months? And I feel like that's, you know, how it's going to play out. And it'll go back to normal, but it's going to be ever present for a year and 18 months. Oh, um, yeah. There's, there's and that's no, why I think this volatility, the market's kind of stemmed its losses to know the Fed will be there and we'll be, we'll be okay in two years. Um, but as these stories break, and, and we'll probably go back to work at some point as things come down, and then I, unfortunately, and I hope not, you know, you'll see certain areas at least there'll be that social distancing again for a period of time. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, this, it, yeah, that, that's, yeah, I can, I can definitely see that. Because the, the kicker is the, that deal, folks, with China, it was half the plane was infected. Uh, yeah. 
And these, they have like were, 100... these were Chinese citizens coming back from Russia. But the bottom line is that it was it was a it was a large number, man. There's, there's no yeah, doubt. and it just spoke to you know when you open things back up in any capacity, right? I mean, you know, the only way to fully eradicate it is for like the whole world on a global scale to do things all at once, which is just Im almost impossible, you know. Um, so of course it's going to be out there, and that travel can resume until it's, you know, vaccine or treatment. Yeah, no doubt. Let's go take a look at the uh, the dollar. So the dollar, folks, uh, bottom line is kind of laying out here at uh, 99,502. Uh, you know, we'll see how this shakes out. The it's in the lower range now, right now. Anything under 99,910 gets you the lower range. So uh, I, I suspect the next stop is going to be the 98,270. But we'll uh, see how this uh, shakes out. You know, pull back slightly the last five days. And the correlation, folks, is direct between that S&P um, and the market itself. Uh, you take a look at the euro. The euro is having a tough time holding price out here today. Uh, one of the targets wants to look at the silver market. The silver market's still, you know, in trouble, basically. I mean, at the SIK, you know, it's, it's picked up a, a bid. And, yeah, I, I think it can get higher, but it's got to get on the road, man. I mean, you know, and silver is always highly volatile anyway. But, you know, bottom line is that can, can it make it up to 1750 Yeah, I think it can. Um, it's just not operating as well as gold is. It's, it's, okay. it's just not there. Do you know what I mean? No. Yeah, I mean, quite quite a week for gold, man. I was, I, I think in the... Um, on the front page of TFNN, I think I put three charts of gold because it was just so cool, man, in terms of – I'm going to jump in here because I put it on the daily, the 15-minute, I think. Okay. Let's slide down. I mean, why not? We'll give it a good plug. This was – first, you had the indices getting 50 percent back of everything, right? Um, yeah, here's gold, the 15-minute, right? Quite a strong chart. That charging up. You had gold, the daily, um, from the low of – late March, and then the monthly, man, that is, that's a beautiful chart. Um, yeah. Up to 1923. And you have in, inside of that market, folks, what you do have, and this is where the probability goes higher that gold will get that ABC structure up, is that you have individual equities also in an ABC structure up. But they're blown away B points, they're done with volume, uh, you know, so th there is, there's real action out there. And as we're talking real action, let's go look at that S&P. So uh, S&P-wise, it just gave up like 12 more points. Whoa. Not that that's a lot. I look away for a second, no, for yeah. sure. And so it looks like you know, this thing is probably gunning for the lows of last night, which, well, actually, yeah. see, this is interesting because we're only 10 points away from them. 20, right. 27, There's a lot 29. of levels here because we inched up so much last week, too, you know, in yeah. terms of... That low Sunday, uh, Sunday night, last night, what is that, 27.17, so we're like 13 points away from that. But then you look at even where we were on Thursday morning, it's like 27.12, and then Wednesday early, we were at 26.40. Um, there's a lot of levels, let alone the highs, right? That level of 27.55, maybe it rebounds, but yeah. And then you get the VIX running out of 43.31. Okay. Okay. Um, that the oil market, folks, okay, this is, you know, and that whole thing about Mexico, that's pretty cool. That was a cool story, wasn't it, Tom? That was a really cool story, man. Thank you for sending it because yeah. that was, I, I enjoyed that one, man. It's, it's uh, you know, it's sound planning by their government, I was thinking. Um, you know, not a lot of political governments have the ability to assign a billion dollars to insurance because right. that's a tough deal when you, you don't get paid off, right? And you have that money. Um, that's called being proactive. It's really tough to be proactive when you're in government sometimes, and kudos to them. Because, it, they, I mean, the statistics in that article in terms of what they had benefited, right, it was already like, what was it? It was 15 billion maybe or something and it didn't calculate that's right it didn't calculate what they were going to make off this this collapse in crude right um, and wh what's happening folks is that they have a hedge on it's cost them a billion dollars a year and they get 65 dollars a barrel for oil and that's that's the state now the state company which is premix they also have a much smaller one on and i think they get like 49 dollars or something it was in that okay. second article you had thrown okay. up okay uh but it's 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 huge, man. And then oh, you have man. Kelpers. This is a, this is a sad story. Kelpers, folks, which is the largest 
pension fund in the United States, that comes out of California, they gave up their hedge only six weeks ahead of the crash. Oh, what a bummer. They, they didn't come up with another billion dollars. Imagine that, and they've had the hedge on. So this is where this is a real freaking problem, folks, is that, you know, you, you put the hedge on, and, you know, you're at all-time highs, and you don't renew the hedge. You know, yep. so, but Mexico, really smart, man. I mean, that's, that's, that's a big number, man. It's, it is, it's talk I, about imagine, that. you know, you're at $23 and you're getting $65 a, you know, a hit. And, and that's the OPEC meeting. Um, that's the difference between, they were going to cut by 10 million barrels. They wanted Mexico to do 400,000. Mexico said, we'll do 100,000. And the deal was they ended up doing 100,000. So right. it came in at 9.7 because right. they could not get pushed around. Yeah. Yeah. 65 bucks a barrel, my God, yeah. you talk about a trade, right? Amazing. I, that's, I was like, amazing, man. Yeah. yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow. Dow Industrials are off 452. Nasdaq's off 81. S&Ps are off 50. And don't forget, folks, I'm man, Mr. Basil Chapman, riding that wave this Wednesday. Going to be an outstanding workshop. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. Tommy and I are coming right back. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, you, you get, I gotta, you gotta check this one out, folks. Okay, the, uh, so you had Trump out there saying oil-producing countries agreed to cut output by 20 million barrels a day. Okay, 
Bottom line, folks, it's 10 million. <laughs> it's like, it, this is like so insane, it's, it blows my mind, man. I mean, you know, when you, when you look at it, the markets, some of the, I can, I can imagine even some of these large operators, they're saying, like, this is heaven on earth, man. You know, people basically still believe Trump. They come out there telling someone financially it's 20 uh, million barrels. We know it's 9.7. I, I believe that's the 9.7 is the actual number. They're saying 10, but uh, it's like, uh, yeah, OPEC and the alliance has publicly agreed to cut 9.7 million barrels. So yeah, and you can see that pop at like about uh, 9.30, 9.15 bar from like just over 23. You made it almost to 24 between like 9.30 and 10 o'clock. I think that tweet's from about 59 minutes ago exactly. Yeah, I, I mean, God. You talk about living in a, in a world that uh, I, I don't even, it's not even a make-believe world. I mean, it's, it's, I guess <laughs> the, it's the Trump world of uh, lies and deceit, right? Hey, so I got a cool story. I'm going to jump away from the market for a brief second, but it's, it's money and it's poker and it's uh, gambling and it's statistics a bit. So I think I had told you about this challenge at one, at one point, but um, it's it's this gentleman Phil Galfond. You've probably seen him back in the day when poker was real big on TV, right? And they had all the guys. So he's won a few World Series. He runs a poker site, and they're having this competition where he's putting out a challenge to play heads up. The cool thing about this is that he was down 900,000 euros, okay? Okay. And they're playing a game that the buy-in is $20,000, okay? And they're just playing for 25,000 hands. So he was down 45 buy-ins which was a remarkable amount when he had challenged 200,000 to 100,000. And this just speaks to literally the variance that could occur in, in something that maybe you even have an advantage. He thinks he has an advantage on almost anybody. And he was down 900,000 through 10,000 hands. He took a break for two weeks, which cost him $3,000 a day as part of the stipulation if you want to, like, do a break. Okay. And he came back and charged back and won it by 1400 dollars um yesterday which was pretty cool really? but it just speaks to if you're playing poker you're doing gambling you're in the markets right he might be a long-term favorite over this person who's just an online um they don't have their name but this is real money right and um that y you can go through streaks that that are unforeseen and you know in his first 15 matchups he had won one matchup and lost 12 in terms of how much money was won and uh if you play poker at the casino, it's so much luck in the short term, right? Because they play 25,000 hands. In a casino, you maybe play like 50 hands, 70 hands, right? Okay. In a day, you make a couple trades. Um, you got to make 100 over the course of the year. So I, I just thought it was cool, man. It's a cool story. I was following it. Um, and it's just amazing sums of money. And this is a brilliant promotion by them. I'm talking about it. They run a great poker site. It's is not it head available on head, in the United just States. one to one? I'm sorry? It's head on head, right? Exactly. It's just one on one. So that goes always fast, right? Because it's like it goes in, really fast. In, yeah. Right? Now this took them almost two months though to play twenty five thousand hands. Okay. They would play like five hundred to a thousand hands a session, um, and they they played like every other day or something like that. And so this was uh, the guy that actually started it, right? He correct. Down, so he put out the he, challenge. He was down and tremendously and then came back. That's that's pretty intense. It was pretty cool, man. And you know, um, and the bet was 200k to 100k. But you see that the sums of money they were playing for were much more substantial potentially than betting 200 to um, make 100,000. Yeah. Um, as they almost had a million dollar swing within 10,000 hands. But it's just cool to see, you know, if you had the if you had the same thing for trading, right? You'd see great traders. The point being, go one win and twelve losses, which is what this guy did to start off his run. And what are the odds that you put out this big challenge, you do a bunch of marketing, and that's the variance that you're dealt? Um, but he overcame it. It was it, it was pretty cool, man. Yeah, so cool. I find it amusing in the world of poker, no tied doubt. with finance. No yeah. doubt. Look at good old, good old Apple. Oh, so <laughs> this is going to be, we, we're going to talk about this, uh, Tom. That, so Apple and Google folks, okay, uh, are getting together. And then, you know, I remember when you had shown folk, uh, Tommy, that uh, the phone, remember the chart from like three weeks ago that all the people in Fort Lauderdale, yes, their phones, and can, then they dispersed, yeah. right, across yes. the country? Yes. Well, what happens, what is happening right now, folks, is that Apple and Google are going to collaborate, collaborate in a uh, system that if it's an opt-in, it's an opt-ed system right now, uh, this is supposed to be up, I think, but within like another couple of weeks. Um, 
Have you seen this yet, Tom? No, I haven't. Oh, so what do you hear this? This is pretty intense, folks. That you have to opt in first, but they're going to track. They, they can track right now one-third of the planet's people, three billion. Amazing. And what's going to happen is that if you opt in, folks, if you go near someone that had the virus, always near someone with the virus, right, the bottom line is that you're going to get a note on your phone that, oh, Pretty cool. I'm reading you, through you better, it as you you have better it go yeah. quarantine yourself because the bottom line is that you just opted in near someone. Oh, you, you, you just came near someone. So this is going to be pretty intense because, you know, these things do start off, you know, probably the right way. But <laughs> you talk about understanding uh, where everyone is at any split second in the world. Uh, pretty intense, man. It is. It is. They, they're mm -hmm. going to have a map, and we're all going to be ants on that map with our electronic tracking devices in our pocket. That's where we are, man, for sure. Yeah. So that is something else. And then if you happen to be living in Baltimore, you guys in Baltimore have a fight over your life on your hands because what's happening in Baltimore, now this is not COVID-19. This is all about surveillance. What they're doing, they tried to do this two years ago, Tom. Yes. And they did it without telling any of the citizens, and they knocked it down, but they're doing it again. What they're doing is that they're, they have 24-hour surveillance over Baltimore that okay. picks up 90% of everything. And they're doing this for crime, folks. Okay? Baltimore is having a monster problem right now with murders in the city. Uh, it's like some outrageous number. Uh, but it's, it has to do with, uh, if you live in Baltimore, man, there's no such thing as privacy. So... They get the, uh, there's plenty of people that are suing them, and I, I think the last thing I want to do is have the government or some, some in someone's hands that type of uh, power. That's how every bad movie starts out, isn't it? With, with the government having cameras in every pocket of the world? It, I agree. It is. And the, the, yeah. they, when you read this article about how they, they, these systems are up and going right now, folks, okay, and, and it's pretty yes, intense. And it's it a, they're claiming it's not a live system. What, what, what they're doing is that they have a, uh, they go through, but then if something happens and they go right back into the tape and say, oh, there you are, right there, man. That was, they, I'm sure, yeah. man. We're right there. They have, I mean, they say, I was just Googling an article as you were talking about it even, um, and the ACLU filing, you know, a case against it, of course. They fear the technology can be combined with Baltimore PD's ground cameras, license plate readers, all that right. data tied together used to provide detailed information as the identities and activities of the city, you know, yeah. of your citizen. They can just peg you and they got a whole map of everything. It's like, yeah. You better not piss off a politician, folks. That's Scary the stuff, That's for the sure. I agree. You gotta, you gotta have a mix of, of uh, you know, fighting crime and protection and, and some level of privacy no, no from doubt. the government. For sure. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 500. Nasdaq's off 87. S&Ps are up 56. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. 
From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down uh, 490. NASDAQ is off uh, 80. S&Ps are off 56. Let's go over to the commodity market and take a look at commodities. Now, this is going to be really intriguing, folks, uh, when, you, when you look at this. These, you know, if we look at the agricultural commodities, they're at lows in a huge way. Um, and if we just, let me just pull this up, the whole thing up, so you can see how this is shaking out. Like, if we, it doesn't matter whether you want to go to cattle, uh, if we go to, you know, we'll do, uh, cattle first uh well here let's just go to hogs but you, what you're going to see they're, they're all at lows and you can see why because guess what you know every restaurant is closed you know not yeah. just the united states i mean we're talking about the world you know you just had the hogs go from 90 cents to 44 cents um and what's interesting here is that so picture the here let's go to the cattle market first for a second I'm, I'm curious here okay so live cattle uh, at 81, yeah, same deal. That, that, that's down from uh, 119. Now, it, 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 you got a picture, and the reason I'm bringing this up is that over the weekend, right, still for Easter time, right? Yes. What has happened, folks, is that, you know, we know a lot of these uh, restaurants, they have made boxes or packets, right, that, you know, you can just go pick up, right? Well, one of the restaurants down here, you know, uh, so it's uh, Island Way and uh, okay. Bonefish, not Bonefish. Island, e uh No, I, Frank no. Chavis owns all of them. He, it's Island Way, Salt Rock, okay? Anyway, there's this guy down here that owns these big fish restaurants, and they're fabulous. And he has his own boats. He has his own boats. So we go in there. He, now he's decided to make a, a market, right? You know what I mean? That you can go in, you, you pick up the, the fish on yes. the steaks you want. But what a deal it was, folks. It was like blowing my mind. Um, we have great grouper down here and Snapper. And he had these all vacuum packed, Tom, right? Okay. And they were all like, uh, they were like 10 ounce to 12 ounce pieces vacuum packed at like $8. <laughs> Very cool. Eight to $9, yeah. okay? And I could see, I'm looking at this like, oh my God, I can't imagine how much fish he has. I mean, because that's. That's a very inexpensive price, folks, for what we're getting. But I start thinking is that I think these restaurants, when they come out of this, will probably continue this type of deal. They make prices go up because when I was cooking it, it was like awesome, man. They're all individually packed, sliced it off, and throw it on the grill, right? It was like a no-brainer. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. No, you, you, you do different things for sure. I mean, I've found myself... Uh, 
I've been doing more of the whole roasted chicken, right? They yeah. come, they have them at Publix. There are more of those available. It's a lot of chicken. You go to the Publix, which I'm trying to go as few as I can, right? Once every week and a half, two weeks, get yeah. some meat, stock up. Um, and it's not like they have a super selection of grilled, you know, skinless chicken breasts or something like that. Um, so I found myself and I'm like, you know what? I, I should have made this before. It's simple, man. You know, you stuff it with some good lemon, garlic, pepper, salt. I know. Um, throw it in the oven. 75 90 minutes put some butter on the edge get it nice and crispy and it's done not bad for a bunch of so it just you know what i mean like yeah. i've found and i cook a lot and i'm like so i imagine people are really have you, you, know, done, you said have you, you were done home. the beer can chicken yet i haven't right so you gotta take you still you know put all the herbs in it right and folks this is so easy to do you put all the herbs in it right and then just on your grill you, you take the beer can and just stick the chicken right on top of it and you just let it go really slow for a couple hours. It's insane. It's like it melts like beyond belief, Ben. You know? It sounds great, man. And that's, you know, the same in the simplicity. It, it's just so simple no matter what you do, I think, with that type of chicken, right? In terms of you get it all greased up, put some butter, but some, put some oil on stuff, some good stuff, herbs, gar you know, garlic, butter, uh, whatever it is, beer can um, to keep it nice and moist. You know, um, that's it's, it's, it was good stuff. So changing of of the usual, your tendencies, what you're doing, I, it's happening for sure. Yeah, no, it definitely is. I'm freaking starving right now too, man. That's right, it's almost lunchtime, man. <laughs> we wake up early, especially on Monday. Um, yeah, totally. I know, 11 o'clock, I think to myself, I mean, um, you know, the, the mornings are busy, man. I, I usually open my eyes, really, before 5 a.m., like 4.45. That's that's my new time. Yeah. And it's amazing how, I mean, you look at the S&Ps, man. Um, at 6 in the morning, even, we were at 27.41. You went up 40 points by 9 a.m. You know, there is movement for sure when those mornings happen, and then now we've pulled back, and, and we're right at. I'm showing 27.25 and that low being 27.17. So we're only about, you know, within about 10 S&P points of that over that um, which, 6 p.m. low last night. Yeah, which, by the way, folks, is great, actually. You know, because you're coming down there, the, the volume's contracting. We, we just hit that uh, 2121, 2721 rather. And uh, we'll see if we can get a sign of strength coming off it. So it's going to be pretty co cool. Watch. Hey, can we jump over to Disney? Yes. Um, they're pulling back today. I mean, they got, it's amazing, man. Disney's got some, some headwinds for some time for sure. Because no matter how much news they get for Disney Plus streaming, um, they've got some big transitions to go from making no money at their parks whatsoever. Because even telling the world, what was it, 50 million subscribers, yes, I think, 50 60? Million. And we're still, um, you know, we've pulled back. We almost hit 110, and now we're back at 100. So, here, yeah, this is a perfect one, folks. This is a complex ABC structure up. It took out the B point Friday, man. I love these. These are all over the marketplace, by the way, folks, okay? You really want to pay attention to them. So, Friday, we did 31 million. You got to uh, 107, right? Your B point on this, is, oh, well, let me see, 107.73. Oh, we did it. We hit 107.99. The B point was 107.73. So your B point is 107.73. Your A point is, uh, let's call it, well, it's 79. So uh, what's that? 27 bucks, right? Your C point is uh, 92. So that's going to give you, uh, what did I say? 20? 119, 120. Yeah, exactly. The, when you get something like this, folks, okay, you, you want to pay attention to it, man. I'm telling you, it's it's <laughs> that's 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 a nice setup. The more the, of these that I see, um, the more bullish I'm getting. Not that I. Hey, can. how about um, Uber? Can we take a look at Uber? Yeah. Because yeah. Uber, um, another one. I mean, well, well off the lows. They're they're 100 percent off their super low of like 13 bucks. They're 26, but. You know, just kind of hanging in that range um, yeah. that it's that just, been in. Yeah, that just missed it. So that 36 million versus 52. Okay, so that's got to build a little more cars. This, same setups though. These these are these are decent setups, man. And I suspect, you know, I think what we're going to see here, folks, and this is what's going to be really intriguing watching this shake out, is that is it the amount of money that's going to be pumped into the economy that is basically repricing any type of asset basically and, you know that's that's where i think we're, we're going here um you know they've certainly taken their time getting money into the economy there's no doubt the twelve hundred dollar checks supposedly well not supposedly they did start going out on friday the, the treasury saying that uh, if you filed if you had filed folks and you had a refund 
so they had your account number from either 2018 or if you filed 2019, you can expect that's going to be easier for them to get into. I think there's going to be a, quite a few glitches there because imagine if you change the counts, Tom. You put the that's where you're in trouble, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow. Dow right now down uh, 512. NASDAQ is off 78. S&P's off 56. We're coming right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 550. Nasdaq is up 93. S&Ps are off 60. And it just almost whacked that 2717. Hit 2718. Uh, as you come over to our website, folks, at TFNN, you are going to see right under featured content. Hard to comprehend that uh, we are kicking into the uh, 15th of uh, April which was tax day, but now we have uh, the tax day, June 15th. Our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to be doing a great workshop for everyone out here. Uh, this is going to be a live workshop, folks. Yeah, so he's going to be in there, man, all day on Wednesday, 9 a.m. till 4.30 p.m. You instantly get Basil's going to send you his booklet, the emailed booklet with the key Chapman Wave techniques so you can start getting ready. You also gain the opening call immediately. Uh, the opening call comes with four or five archived webinars. He just did one a few months ago. You'll gain access to that. And, of course, Wednesdays will be archived. Uh, 
easy technical tools that give you a buy and sell. He's going to talk to people about their positions using technical tools to initiate and keep you in the trades. Each technique discussed, practiced in detail, a full day on Wednesday. And what a market to do it. That's why Basil wanted to do it, man. He emailed in. He had his schedule already um, the whole day. And, uh, and then a month of the opening call where he's going to be in there as well. So check it out. Sign up now so you get all that stuff and you get ready for Wednesday morning. You got to love it. And yes. Uh, so this is pretty wild, man. Yeah, we got to do this quick just so you can see how these tests occur, folks, okay? It's like, okay, it's just sitting there, man. You're at 27.20. We hit 27.18.25. Uh, the low at that open last night, Tom, uh, was 27.17.25, you know? Okay. So this is the make or break here. And that's also going into the strength that was generated out here on uh, Friday, uh, Thursday, rather. Yeah, so Pretty stay right cool. there, folks. Uh, coming up next, we get uh, Think or Swim, and then I'm at Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes. Stay right. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Bam! Oh, get him, folks.